In today's video, I'm going to show you a great way to be able to beat the meta man-to-man -man coverage right up the seam in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I post four videos a day that are designed to give you help with some type of tangible tactic, tip, or strategy in Madden NFL 21. Um, so if you're interested in getting better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so we're going to be going over this near uh, close um, near close flex, and the play we're going to be using is um, motion uh, MTN uh, stick, so motion stick. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your fastest wide receiver in at this slot receiver position here, and then at uh, running back, you're going to put your fast running back in there. So we'll put Justice Heel there, and Dobbins will be our fullback. You know, we're just going to come out on the play motion Y stick. So now um, you're going to see coaching adjustments here. Um, we just have everything set uh, to do what it's going to do. And most of the time they'll actually be base aligned, which will make it even worse. But uh, we'll just go up against a uh, two man under from nickel 335 wide. And what you'll see with this uh, play, all we're going to do is put Brown on a streak. That's literally the only adjustment. And what you'll see here is the defense is going to kind of auto over overload the defensive coverage here. And you'll see it's going to leave this little inside pocket to pass lead to Marquise Brown right up the seam. Very easy against cover two man. Now, if they take the safeties away, let's say they do something like this where they're doing the meta man coverage and they're going to shade coverage outside and over top. And they're going to man align shade coverage outside over top. And they're going to put the safeties there at 25 yards to prevent any crossing routes you're gonna find that this is gonna absolutely kill it. Um, it's a very, very good little play here. You see that little quarter, corner is gonna auto correct, and all you have to do is just lob it up over the top. You see 97 Marquise Brown, typically going to be able to burn this coverage over the top. But what it does is essentially it's going to force their best corner to guard your running back out of the backfield. And I will show you the running back route in just a moment. The running back route is actually really good. But you need to be, I personally think you need to be playing Mutt for that route to be good because you need a really, 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 really fast running back. But as you see here, I mean, you're going to torch the man-to-man -man coverage over the top, especially if you have like a Marquise Brown, Tyreek Hill, um, Marquise Goodwin type of player. But I did want to also show you really, really quickly the running back route. And this is, again, motion stick. All I'm doing is streaking Marquise Brown. The running back route, when he comes out of the backfield, you're going to see that they're going to he's going to be automatically unbumpable. He, they can't press him. So you see he's going to get an automatic win animation. If there's no safety over the top, you can sometimes get it over the top. Now, again, that's Jair Alexander. If that's just a standard corner with no abilities, that's going to, that's going to burn it over the top. Because it's Jair Alexander, um, it's a little bit harder to get it burned over the top. But you'll see, you see you get that instant win. And again, this is, you know, I had, Jair Alexander has a speed advantage. If you have Barry Sanders or Bo Jackson and Mutt, this is going to be even better. But you see, you get the ball out there, click on. And again, sometimes you can get it out there. You know, part of it's the issue is that Lamar Jackson doesn't quite, um, doesn't quite uh, hit the deep routes as good as like a Mahomes would or a Dan Marino or um, an Aaron Rodgers. But if you put Aaron Jones out there on this, Aaron Rodgers will be able to hit this pretty consistently. But basically that route is going to automatically get over the top of the defense. Your job is just to get it out there. And again, as you can see, you know, Jair Alexander is kind of bagging it because of his abilities. But if that's, you know, if you're in Mutt and that's Bo Jackson, you're going to be able to beat it. You'll see here if we flip the play, um, let me just show you what happens. So we're going to go against no abilities now. And what you'll see is Jair Alexander is going to kill man-to-man uh, -man coverage over the top. Or not Jair Alexander, uh, Justice Hill, this running back route. You'll see, because he's not going to be able to get bumped. Um, well, I guess he would. I guess he did get bumped on that one. But you'll see he's going to get over the top of it. And most of the time you can click on and swerve catch it um, to the outside there. Let's shoot this real quick. But most of the time, he's going to get over the top of that defender, um, especially if you streak really sneed. That's going to help the play a little bit. But you see this little auto motion is going to get him out of his element. Now they got to shift and adjust. Um, this play does defend it a little bit better over the top. But you see now you've got a linebacker uh, matched up against, you know, that would be Marquise Brown, and you'd be able to get this over the top. But overall, guys, I think this is just a really, really good play. Even if, even if they have the deep blue, um, the deep blue safeties, you're going to be able to just pass like this right in the middle and just click on a possession, catch it. And if they don't have the safeties, you can easily, um, you can easily just pass lead it 
uh, or lob it over the top. Sometimes you can actually get it over the top. So like if you know they're going to be looking for your crossing routes or whatever, you can sometimes just lob this up right over the top of the defense. It just doesn't always get there um, because of the fact that the deep blue safeties don't have anything to go to the outside on. Uh, which actually makes the route to Justice Hill a little bit more powerful, in my opinion, because the safety on the right's not going to play Justice Hill. He's going to play the streak most of the time. But, you know, every now and then you can mix in the hitch route as well. But this is a really nice little play. It beats cover two as well. So, like, if they're, you know, and I don't, I don't anticipate you getting a lot of cover two. But if you get cover two defense, you'll see this route to Justice Hill. Sneed's going to pull down the flat zone. Um, and he's going to get an outside release. You click on, and you can get that out there. Adrian Amos played it better than I thought he would on that on that play, but you can kind of get that route out there uh, against cover two. I know you can get the seam if they're not guarding the seam, which this they will guard the seam in this. Um, they're going to have to, uh, and so that's why you're going to see, you know, stick is going to come a nice little play, but you get that outside release, and you're going to be able to beat the cover two defense um, pretty well, uh, pretty well from this this playbook. So one other thing you can do on this is if you face like a cover three, I'm pretty sure that one of these streaks will get open. Let me see here. No, not against cover three. Um, basically, if the cover three is flipped, so if the cover three is coming from, if the deep blue is coming from the left to the right, so you'll see here on this, like let's, let's just say, for example, they flip it and it's like this right here, you know, this kind of cover three and they're pressing coverage out of it, what you'll see is uh, Marquise Brown should get open on the right side because that deep uh, hills route is going to basically occupy Jair Alexander. It's going to create a little window in the seam to be able to hit that. Um, for the most part, you can, and you could get that up the seam um, fairly easily against cover three. But all in all, guys, this is a really, really good little play to just kind of mix in a little bit. Um, this is a really good play if they're running a lot of man-to-man. -man. You know, I really, really like this play against man-to-man. -man. Um, what's also good about it is it's got some decent checkdowns against zone. It's not really a zone beater. It's more of a man beater. Um, you're going you're gonna to find that, you know, Brown's route is going to consistently win for you. And if you have a good running back like a McCaffrey or a Camara or, you know, just any really good running back, that route's going to get open as well. So just wanted to cover this real quick. You get that nice inside position, and you can do a lot of stuff with that as a lob streak opportunity if there's a cover zero. And if they're in cover two, man, you can hit it quick. So just wanted to cover that motion Y stick. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. Also, we have a community Discord in our description that you can join. Discord's a great place to be able to talk Madden 24-7, be able to share, swap ideas, and all of that stuff. So if you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to do that as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful. We've got more videos coming for you uh, today because, again, we upload four times a day on YouTube. And then we also have um, a live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I want to invite you to come back to our channel for that. And then last but not least, guys, if you haven't already, sign up for a personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching session. You can do that in the description below. Coaching sessions are the best possible way to take your game to the next level because you get personalized coaching specific to your needs. And I promise you, you will not walk away from the coaching session disappointed. You will get much, much more value from the coaching session than any of my products. I do have an ebook as well that you can pick up in the description, but the coaching session is the best product you can get because it's going to serve you the best. Thank you so much for your time, guys. And we will see you later on on the channel. Check out some of these videos we're going to throw up on your screen. And we got more videos coming later today, so be sure to stay subscribed. We've got more video content coming for you today.